Well, from slip-ups to strikes, recent waves of public sector industrial action have seen Britain's economy flatline. The latest official figures show growth ground to a complete halt in February as civil servants and teachers hit the picket lines. And while some 47,000 junior doctors are walking out this week, the militant union boss behind the strike has had to apologise for going on holiday instead of joining them. Dr Rob Lawrenson, who took paid leave, yes, paid leave, to attend a wedding, says he hopes his colleagues will forgive him. It comes as NHS waiting lists hit an all-time high, with more than 7 million patients waiting for routine treatment and one in 10 of those arriving at A&E waiting more than 12 hours to be seen. I think the doctors are being played by a militant union. I'm very angry about the whole thing. I've cancelled my BMA membership as a result of what's going on. They don't speak for the majority of doctors, but at the end of the day, we've never seen industrial action like this. Everyone is being affected by this, and people will die as a result. I think demanding 35% pay rise is not reading the room. You're not going to get it. So, so, so you do have to compromise somewhere. I'm not saying that they shouldn't shouldn't get a pay rise. The issue, actually, is we don't train enough doctors. It was capped at 7,500, it went up to 10,000. We need, basically, to train 20,000, train and retain them, keep them in the service. And the way I would do that is actually to say, if you stay for, say, five years or 10 years, we'll write off your entire student debt. But you, I know it's 35%, that does sound like a lot. It is an opening negotiation figure as well. But we're talking going from £14 an hour to £19 an hour. But we're also talking of an uplift. Remember, junior doctors is anything up to a consultant, so that's from 29000 up to <coughs> nearly 60000 So some of those doctors will actually get something like 20000 as a result of that, if that uplift is across yeah. the whole board. But actually, I think there's a bigger problem. Junior doctors are undervalued. They're not looked yeah. after. They don't have hot food. They don't have places where they can actually change properly. Or even sleep if that. they need or sleep if they or need Or sleep. To, There's too much paperwork. There are too many yeah. managers. 48% of the staffing budget is non-clinician. Who, so whose fault is that? Um, bureaucracy and successive governments. OK. I think, I, it, I think, though, where the BMA, I think, have got this wrong is it's, it's not about... And I don't think anybody around here would, would argue and say people shouldn't get a pay rise. We all know about the cost of living crisis. And also, we know about the pressures of different kind of jobs. And we know the difficulties of keeping people <coughs> and making sure that they're given good incentives to stay, because I think this is part of the problem with the public service pay grades, if you like, is that mm. we don't reward loyalty, we don't reward... Because people move and chop and change in the, in the commercial sector so much, that's how you get your pay reviews and everything else, yeah. that, in fact, you want people to stay, even though that's against the culture. And we haven't changed our culture to the modern workplace yeah. and to the modern way of learning. But then also, this, this doctor who's taking this time off, he wasn't reading the room. I mean, no, who, not at all. Who, it was his who friend's doesn't wedding. lead by but, example? But, but the, it's but the issue it was his friend's is, wedding. Yes. What are you going to do? Ask your friends to but, change but their wedding? Then you go away to the weekend. Then, uh, being the ringmaster of all the WhatsApp groups and, and spearheading all of the industrial action, you don't disappear. He couldn't be bothered to turn up for his own strike. It wasn't he couldn't be bothered. He just well, wanted he to go to his but friend's also, wedding. Well, for me, the fundamental thing is he's being paid to take this leave, and those doctors who have to go on strike or feel that they should be on strike but don't get paid. Also, like he's not being paid for this job for this role. Remember, we've had... Uh, was he knows he didn't do Dominic right Raab thing. went off on holiday when we pulled out, out of Afghanistan. Like, yeah. you know, the government, people in I'm high sure office. It would have made much difference if he was here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But, then, but, but I think the thing is that he was probably involved in the discussions about when the strikes would be. And, and if you were involved in the strikes and think, actually, I'm not going to be here, he knew he wasn't going to be here. Can you imagine <laughs> being involved in the strikes and going, sorry, guys, sorry, every single member of the BMA, we can't yeah. do that date because so we may getting wedding. married. Don't, don't go, go to the, the wedding. wedding. Oh, ah. No, I'm being serious about That's that. The fact is that we are short of 12,000 doctors in this country. There is a big problem. 50,000 nurses we need to recruit immediately. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And actually, one, something like 25% of new doctors will leave within one so year. So at least he's so, not taking a day off work where he could be if, doing but operations. But he's taking a day off Big, sorry, but we carry on arguing about this, but meanwhile, there are more and more, millions more people who are joining this list of, of people who, of not being able to get the treatment that they mm -hmm. should be having. And, yeah. and this is something that the government, surely the government should be talking to mm. them. They've now at least yeah. got, I think, ACAS involved, or at least ACAS is yes. saying... Well, they're talking you know, about getting ACAS involved. Well, at least they're, they're, at least they're talking about it. about it. Yes, but they've got to... 
They've got to engage. We can't carry on like this, yeah. for goodness but sake. Can, and but also, what we're dealing with is we're dealing with, on one hand, in uh, my view, a militant union, and on the other hand, a government who's incompetent. And mm. I don't know who's worse and who's behaving worse. And 13, the, the yeah, thing and is 13 that we years are all of it. suffering years, at the yeah. end of it. And, and it's 13 years, 13 years of this. And also, things have got to change, surely, in the way that we deal with... With, with illness in this country. We yeah. have to start staving right. off the illness before we actually of got course. them. I mean, we've just bumped into an amazing number of diabetics now in this country, which are to do with, and they are, a lot of them are to do with lifestyle. And you're right. Yeah. And so we need, to, we need to do that because the more people we have with these, what they call, I think they're, they're complicated, a number of... Um, comorbidities. Uh, co co comorbidities and everything. We know, for example, that if you are... Um, if, if you have diabetes, you didn't deal so well with COVID, for example. Yeah. So all these things have got to be addressed. And if we can try and keep people better for longer, then we then, then again, we don't have to actually uh, have And there this. is the nub of the problem. It's a National Ill Health Service. It's not a National, national Health, health service. service. And that, I think, is the, is the fundamental yeah. And as for the heart. care, and as for the, 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 the situation with care... Sorry? You're going to rebrand it No, now. but Penny's right. We need to start looking at proactive treatments, preventative rather treatments. Than, rather than coming in at the end, come in at the beginning and say, right, and, and actually get schools talking about... Uh, Healthy things Nanny and how and to her cook. State I yes. tell you what. Sorry, yes. I, th I think I'd you be should be Secretary of State Can for I Health. Can I just be Secretary of State for Health? I think I'd be really good. I think you'd be yeah. really good. Yeah.